Hey y'all, it's Nicole with Living Well Realty. Today I'm out in Green Meadows to check on the Stone Hollow home behind me. So they started framing this a couple weeks ago and they've already made a lot of progress. So let's flip this camera around and go take a look. Okay guys, this is the basalt plan. That's B as in boy, basalt. And it has three full car garage side by side. And then it also has four beds, three and a half baths, a study, a game room, and a media room in this plan. So this looks fantastic. They poured the driveway. They've got the frame almost completed. Uh, the only thing that's missing is the shingles on the roof. So I'm sure those are coming soon. Let's go through the front door. Okay, so this is gonna be flipped from the plan you look at online, just in case um, you wanted to know that. So you walk in, it's a two-story entry. The railing over the top there, um, that's the game room up there. So you will look over into the foyer from upstairs. Off to the right, when we first come in, we've got an office. And they still have some cross beams up, so that's support. They need to come back and do, I guess, a few more things to make sure that this is stable. You know, one thing I do want to let people know, whenever I walk these, I get, I'm used to this because I've lived in Texas for so long, but um, we get a lot of questions about tornadoes and whatnot down here. So I want to point this out. So this has been bolted and tied to the foundation, guys. This frame, it's going to take some serious winds and whatnot to pull this off of the foundation to rip this house down. And in the... 40 years I have lived in Texas, guys. I have not seen a tornado, knock on wood. I mean, of course they, they are around, but it's just rare for them to actually touch down and do damage. This is a half bath here with a little linen closet. And then we have a coat closet here. Okay. Coming in from the garage, you do have a dedicated laundry room. So here's the entrance from the garage. I'm showing the floor because it's easier to understand the floor plan if you, especially during the frame stage, if you just follow the wood on the floor, follow the outlines. So this is going to be a little mud bench area. And then you have, of course, the laundry room. So your washer and dryer are going to go on the wall that has the white pipe. Coming further into the house, you've got some storage under the stairs here. It goes in and then it opens up to your kitchen. This is a really nice, big, open kitchen, big island. Your sink and dishwasher will be in the island. And you've got, um, I don't remember where the stove and um, ovens are in this plan, or the refrigerator, actually. I'm looking for the water line for the refrigerator. The only pipe I see is that one in the corner. I think that's where your stove goes. Um, well, we will see when they put it in. <laughs> and then you have a pantry in the middle. Nice big kitchen. And then this is an Eden kitchen area. That is a massive area for table. Table and chairs, big picture windows. And then this is all open to the living space, which is a two-story living space. So I do have another plan I was just filming in here called the Portico 2. The Portico 2 is not open to above. It's a one-story living room. But lots of people, especially from out of state, they want to come here and they want to see these big two-story living rooms. And that's what it looks like. So you guys got it? That's going to be so pretty. Lots of natural light in here. Um, your stairway um, will be open, partially open for the first part. And uh, it'll have open railing. It'll be really pretty. Then over here in the corner is the master. So of course I can't really get in here very well, but this is a large master, very large. And that back window there, that's all been bayed out to allow for some extra space and seating areas. So the master bath is in here. Uh, that's one vanity there. Actually, I think that might be the tub. It's hard to, all right, I'm gonna try and squeeze through here. Yay, I did it. Okay. So we've got a shower right there. Then you'll have, here we go, vanity. And then another vanity on the other side of the closet. This opening here, this is the closet. Um, it's gonna be difficult for me to get in there. So just look at the floor. It's a really big outline, like right here, all the way down, over and back. Big closet. Um, it looks like you have another closet back over there, straight ahead. 
and then you have a water closet right there where the plumbing is. So yes, this is gonna be a tub. So tub shower right next to each other. Nice big window. All right, and pretend that I'm going through the doorway of your master, because so obviously you're not gonna be able to walk through the wall like I just did. We're gonna go check out the patio real quick so you can see. This is a nice size patio. Definitely big enough for chairs, maybe a little grill. And then a large backyard, y'all. This is a 65 foot lot here in Green Meadows. So extra yard space. Um, there is a house directly next door. So basically um, the dividing line between the two is in the middle. So there will be a fence here. You won't be able to see next door, but yeah, this is really nice backyard. All right, now let's go look upstairs. Upstairs is where all of the secondary bedrooms will be, as well as the game room and the media room. So again, this portion will be open on the stairs. Not sure what's happening here. This is a new plan for Stone Hollow. So this is the first one I've seen being built. So I know my clients kind of stepped out on a limb here, hoping that it was a really nice plan, because sometimes it's really hard to tell just by looking at a piece of paper and a drawing how it's gonna look. Okay, game room, that's fantastic. This is a huge game room. And media, so this will be double doors into your media room. So it's not a true media room because it has windows, okay? But this actually is better and here's why. You can make this space whatever you want. Not everybody wants a media room. Sometimes they just want extra space for working out or you know whatever but it's nice to have the option to do something else. So this looks great. Okay, we have a secondary bedroom over here. That's awesome. And then you'll have a closet. Um, this will be a double door closet. And you have this little doorway here is attic space, attic access. And this should be a bathroom. I don't see the plumbing coming up yet, so they're not completed with that, but that's okay. That's one of the next phases once framing is completed. Nice big bathroom. And then across over here, we have two more beds and a bath. So straight ahead, bathroom. And then we have another bedroom. Large bedrooms, guys, these are huge. More attic access. This one has a walk-in closet. And then the final bedroom, also huge. I'd be stoked if I was a kid and I got a room this big. This is awesome. And then another closet's gonna have double doors. I mean, they're still good sized closets. So um, this is really great. I like this floor plan. This is really, really nice. And then you have another little space here. This could be like a, you can make this a study space for kiddos or maybe just a little reading nook. And then you have another closet here. So this looks really, really great. Okay guys, that wraps up the tour this week. They have made quite a bit of progress since I was out here last. This is super exciting. So I'm loving the floor plan. I really, really love that you have the two-story living room that you guys were looking for. It has the media and the game room and an office. I mean, plus all the secondary bedrooms, you guys, you really scored on this one. Very, very, very good. Love it. If you need anything, you know how to get a hold of me. If you are tuning in for the first time, I'm Nicole Roan. I work with Living Well Realty, and I would love to help you with your new construction home. So if you're looking to build or buy in Salina or Prosper, guys, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to help you. You can call, text, email, or schedule a Zoom appointment via the link below. Whew. Words are hard. <laughs> ah, until next time, y'all, take care and God bless. Bye.